Right, so um, I've started with assignment two because I, I misplaced assignment one. So immediately after this, uh, maybe one of you can send me assignment one so that next time when you come, we also pick out those um, first topic questions in assignment one so that we solve them together. All right, so this is question one from assignment one. Okay, so this is question one. The first question here says, um, determine which of the following functions is even or odd. Uh, so when you've been asked to determine uh, whether the function is odd or even, you simply uh, test it by using f of negative x. Yeah, so when you say use f of negative x, you need to understand that when we say f of x is equal to 2x, then they ask us to find f of 1. F of one means that we're going to replace one while there's x there, meaning we'll put one while there's x, and this will give us two. And if they ask us to find f of two, using this function, means that while there's x there, you just have to replace two, and you get your solution to be four. So in the same way, if they ask us to find f of negative x, it means that in this function which we have there, you have to replace negative x while there's x meaning we're going to have two and you put negative x where there's x and then the answer will be negative two x. Yeah, so this is what you use. But how do you know after replacing this negative x in the function, how do you know that this function is even, odd, or it's neither even or odd? So it's very simple. Um, one thing you have to understand is that if you find f of negative x, and then after finding this, you find that the function uh, still gives you it still gives you the same function as the solution. This means that uh, the given function is what is even. Then if you if you use f of negative x, then you discover that the function that you get as the answer is negative of the same function that you got. Then the answer, uh, rather the function is what is odd. Yeah, and then if you find that f of negative x is not equal to f of x, it's also not equal to negative f of x. This implies that the function is neither odd nor even. So this is what it means. Yeah, so we're going to use the same concept to test whether these two functions are even or odd. So how do you test or how do you solve such questions? So let's, let, let's check. Or before I solve these questions, let me give you some examples because I know uh, for these questions, they all have one answer. So I'll, I'll give you some other questions that will have different answers. Yeah, so let me start by giving you uh, other examples. So let me erase this one as well. I'll not erase these because they're the ones that we're going to be using as a reference. Okay, so let's take a let's take our function to be f of x, and f of x is equal to x squared plus x to the power four. So if we test, uh, I mean, if they ask us to find whether this function is even or odd. Uh, we have to test it using f of negative x. So how do you test that? Let us put uh, negative x where there's x. So we put negative x where there's x, and this is going to be negative x there. Then we square it, and we have plus negative x in brackets. We raise it to the power four. So f of negative x is therefore going to be. So um, if you raise a negative number, to an even number, the answer is always positive. What I mean is that if we say negative one squared, negative one squared means negative one times negative one. This gives us what? Positive one. So when you raise um, a negative number to an even power, the answer is uh, positive. Yeah, so in this case, if we raise a negative x 
to the power two, the answer will be what? X squared. And then if we raise a uh, negative X to the power four, four is also an even number here. So this is going to give us what? Um, positive uh, X to the power four. So when you look at uh, the solution for F of negative X here, x squared plus x to the power four, isn't it just the same as this part that we have here? If it's just the same, so we say this is equal to what? F of x. So what this means is that F of negative x is equal to what? F of x. Because uh, after finding F of negative x here, we discovered that the answer is also the same, I mean, it's, it's the same as F of x there. So when you check this concept here, when you check what I've written here, isn't it just the same as this? It is. So we conclude that the function here is what is even. Because f of negative x is equal to f of x. So that is exactly how you solve. Do you have any questions about even before we proceed to odd? I want to give you another example that is going to have, I mean, that is going to be an odd function. Okay, so we don't have a question, so we proceed. So let's take another function. You look at another function. So this function will be f of x is equal to x to the power three plus, um, uh, plus x. Okay. So we are also going to test this function using negative x. So first find f of negative x, and then we see um, we see um, yeah, and then we see what um, we're going to get. So f of negative x in this case, f of negative x will, there, will therefore be equal to while this x there, I'm going to put negative x, and this is going to be negative x to the power three. Then we say plus while this x I'm putting negative x. So f of negative x is therefore going to be equal to, when you raise negative x to the power three, uh, when you raise the negative number to the, to the to, to, to us is to, to an odd number, the answer that you get is always negative. So what that means is that if, for instance, we raise a negative one to the power, to the power three, the answer will be negative one times negative one times negative one. So negative one times negative one gives you positive one times negative one gives you negative one. So when you raise any odd, um, I mean, any negative number to an odd power, the answer is negative. So what this means is that negative x to the power three, the answer is what? Is negative x to the power three. The negative x raised uh, to the power one, the answer is what? Negative x. So this function can be factorized. So we can factorize this function. We can factor out the negative, meaning we have negative outside there. We have negative outside, then we, and then we open brackets. So when we factorize negative, we're going to remain with x to the power three in the brackets, then plus x, close the brackets. So f of negative x is therefore going to be equal to, we have a negative outside there. But when you check what we have inside the brackets there, isn't it just the same as f of x? Yeah, it is. So we're going to replace that part with f of x. So when you check this part here and what we have there, aren't they the same? So if they are the same, you can conclude that this function is there for what? An odd function. So this is an odd function. All right, so let us, take a look at a function that is neither odd nor even. So the simplest way you can master this is that when you have a function that consists of even powers, it means that um, that, function, that, that function is an even function. And if you have a function that only consists of uh, odd powers, means that uh, the function is an odd function. And then if you have a function that is a mixture of even and odd powers, then that function is neither even nor odd. So let's take a look at this function. F of X is equal to X squared plus, um, okay, let me say X to the power three plus X squared. So when you test this function with 
the f of negative x, the answer that you're going to get to be um, negative x raised to the power three, then plus negative x raised to the power two. So negative x raised to the power three gives us what? This will give us negative x to the power three because it's an odd power. Yeah, so for this one, this is an odd, uh, rather this is an even power, meaning uh, we'll get a positive answer as the answer there. So meaning we'll have something like uh, positive x squared. So if we try to factorize this, are we going to get anything? Or well, first of all, before you even factorize, is this part the same as that? No, because of a negative, we have a negative there. We don't have a negative there. So meaning they are not the same which disqualifies this function from being an even function. So now let us see if this function can be odd. So let's try to factorize the negative. So if I factorize the negative open brackets there, of course this part, the negative will be factorized, but if we factorize the negative from a positive, we're going to have a negative there and we have X squared there. If you check what is in the brackets there, is it the same as what we have there? The answer is no, because we have a positive there and then we have a negative there. Therefore, f of negative x is not equal to f of x. It's also not equal to negative f of x, which implies that the function is neither even nor odd. So, this is the simplest explanation that I can give for um, these functions. Yeah, so let's take a look at the ones that we have in the question. So the first question that we have here is asking us to find or to determine whether these functions are either even or odd. So we start with this one. So we test it using f of negative x. We, we are going to replace what is x with negative x. So we have three on top there, then we have negative x there raised to the power three, then we have plus two. So now let us simplify this. So the numerator is three down there, since this power is odd, meaning we're going to have a negative answer there. So we have a negative x to the power three, then we have plus two. So this is f of negative x. So now f of negative x is equal to this. Now, if you check this function, is it equal to that function? The question, I mean, the answer is no, because here we have a positive, there we have a negative. So they are not the same. Even if you, even if you try to, fact, to factorize the what is the negative, are you going to get the, uh, what's this? Are you going to get this function as one of uh, the terms? Let's try to check that. Let, let's try to factorize. So if we do this, we factor out the negative, um, meaning you are going to have something like, you're going to have uh, something like, um, three on top, down there, if you factorize the negative, you're going to have um, x to the power three minus two. Okay. Yeah, so this is what we're going to get. So now is the denominator or the whole function here, or let's do this, sorry. So I removed the negative outside. So is what we have here the same as what, what is there? No, because we have a minus there, we have a plus there. So this function is neither even nor odd because f of negative x is not equal to f of x, which is also not equal to negative f of x, meaning the function is neither odd nor even. Okay, let us also try to test this one. So we do the same. We find f of negative x in this function. So meaning while there's x there, I'm going to put what? Negative x, when you say minus one. So f of negative x, there's a question? Yes, you can ask please. Maybe just an addition on the not equal sign you you you, you forgot to, to finish it, maybe for future reference. Oh, all right, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, thank you very much for that. So I was actually supposed to be writing f of negative x is not equal to 
f of x, which is not equal to negative f of x. Yeah, meaning um, the function is neither odd nor even. Yeah, thank you for that correction. So, um, so when we uh, multiply these two times negative x, we're going to have negative two x and then we have minus one. Yeah, so is this function here equal to that function? No, because of this negative in front. So let us try to factor out the negative. We see if the function will be odd. Yeah, because, I mean, since this part is not equal to that, it tells us that, that the function is not even. So now let us try to factor out the negative. So f of negative x becomes negative outside there, 2x plus 1. Is this function here the same as that? No, because we have a minus there, we have a plus there. So we can conclude to say f of negative x, f of negative x. So f of negative x is not equal to f of x, which is not equal to negative f of x, meaning the function is neither even nor odd. Yeah, so I don't know if you have other questions before we can move on to the next question. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question.